I'm joined here in the studio by Adrian Beecham and uh, Adrian, uh, lovely to see you. We bumped yeah. into you at, at, a, at a steam railway event. <laughs> oh week, yes, exactly. You were hopping mad, <laughs> hopping mad. So I said, give me a call yeah. and we'll have a chat about this. Now, this is quite different. Let me explain. You have a book here and Thomas the Tank engine features very strongly in it. Yes. And the other man's got this connection with Thomas the Tank. Of course, yes, of course. This was the home, obviously, as a lot of people will know from the Thomas the Tank Air series with the Reverend Ardry. Mm. And he used to uh, read the stories to his uh, son, Christopher. And uh, his daughter, of course, is heavily involved with Thomas. But unfortunately, she sold the, uh, the rights to a group called... Um, um, Mattel, uh, Mattel uh, Group, right. yes. And from here on in, we'll just be very careful what we say because yes. Mattel own the rights. Oh yes, I know. And this exactly. is where the I understand. Yeah. I understand, Paul. Yes, I've got, I've got to watch my P's and Q's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll <give> some <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, seriously, I mean, they 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 have got control over the the product to some degree here, and they've changed the style of Thomas Tank, and this is what you. And this you is, and your group are really this is what we're this is what about we're, we're we're very upset and disappointed with the way that they've actually uh, taken Thomas and made it so that Thomas jumps tracks doesn't need steam to help him move he doesn't need coal he doesn't need water he's become a superhero oh. in his own way is he Super he superhero, oh gee, no, that's not the words I would use, that's, that's, that's putting it bluntly. Well, no, but you know, the way they're playing it, it's almost like he, oh, yes, he, can, yeah. he can go he can, up and down, in and out, all sorts of things, yeah. doesn't need the rails, doesn't need steam, as you say. But this, this to me though, is destroying a child's, a, a child's mm -hmm. uh, heritage, so to speak, because as, you, as, as people will know uh, from watching the series, the Isle of Man is steeped in over a thousand years of history. Mm -hmm. And are you going to stand there and other people are going to stand there and say, we are not going to put up with uh, having our mm -hmm. historical history destroyed? I mean, to say, let's face it, we're the only country in the world that's got its own parliament, apart from uh, Guernsey and the Channel Islands, of course, but as is the oldest Norse parliament in existence. Well, we can't do anything about it here. We are, it's, it's just, Mattel's a huge group. I mean, they can... As they say, exactly, of course, yes, but if we voice our concern, though, oh, if we here voice we go. our concern... So a bit of public pressure, e exactly, emails Exactly, yes. If people if people get in on, 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 online and on board and voice their opinions about how they feel about Thomas being rebooted to this something that I, I consider and my, my daughter who's been a Thomas fan since she was very very little the only way we could get her to eat her meals was to sit her in front of the television <laughs> as a child and she used to listen to Ringo Starr yeah. telling the stories Amazing. now I've had the I've had the pleasure of meeting the Beatles I actually met them in Birmingham uh, many years ago uh, if people watch the uh, film A Hard Day's Night the helicopter actually takes off at the end of the series of the film and they actually went to Wolverhampton. And my late mother uh, actually worked uh, in a dry cleaning store in, uh, in, in the center of Wolverhampton. And one of her friends who operated all the machines at the back of the uh, dry cleaners, it's called Sketchlist, by the way, if I can say that, um, they, um, uh, he, he, Peter actually used to work backstage. And of course, that, that night, the Beatles were actually going to do a one night show at the theater in Wolverhampton. And uh, Peter very kindly took me backstage and I actually got to meet wow. all four Beatles. Wow. Yeah, I got to meet the Not Beatles. Not many can say yeah. that. Can well, I, I actually was playing in a group at my school at uh, March End Secondary School in Wolverhampton. Uh, I was a bass guitarist and I am left ha I'm, le I'm a left-handed uh, bass player. I was a bass player. And I had a guitar exactly the same as Paul McCartney's, the famous Hofner violin bass. And Paul very kindly showed me how to actually tune the darn thing. <laughs> and it was magic. Story and for another day. We should come bring you back and talk about your Beatles thing. <laughs> yes. Just get you back on track. And yeah, excuse the pun. Course. Yeah, of course. Yes. Um, we've got a picture before and after as well. You've got one of, of the classic Thomas Tank in the, in the cartoon. That's what children and have grown up with. Yes. You've seen this new picture come out. Is this what's alerted you to the fact? Exactly. Yes. Well, actually, it was my daughter. She said she said she came in one day and she looked very distraught. And I said to her, I said, Lucy, what nurse the matter with you? And she says, Dad, she says they're destroying my heritage. I said, what do you mean by that, love? She says, well, they've taken Thomas and they've completely turned it around and made right. it flat. Is that show already in production? Is it out? Is it's it too supposed late now? To be, no, it's supposed to be coming out uh, in August, I'm told. I don't know whether it's actually It been, might be done then. Well, I don't know yet, actually, no. Paul. Like, I couldn't say for certain, but no. uh, obviously we are concerned because it, it, it is taking children's right. heritage away. 
you got your society? Have you got an email? Have you got a website? Have you got a Facebook? What's the best way of well, adding I, to your well? My daughter's list. my daughter's got a got an e got an email. Yeah, uh, people can actually go on uh, go on on her. Okay, on her, we'll put the email up on the screen here. Yeah, and um, uh, we'll yeah. sort that out. And yeah. Yeah, sometimes things the public can change things. Oh yes, well hopefully hopefully we can because as I say, I I grew up with uh, I grew up with steam trains. I mean, say my late uncle uh, helped uh, start the Seven Valley Railway Preservation Society in Bridge North in Shropshire, and the only way that we could do that, of course, was to get a lot of people involved. And my my late uh, my late uncle, my uncle Charlie, he said to me, Dad, he says, Bill, he says. We're going to see if we can start and get get the society together, uh, run the railway ourselves. Seeing as um, mm. your ancestors uh, <laughs> destroyed it, you know, and taken it off. You should mention that yes, you Dr. are literally related to Doctor Beeching. I we are related to Doctor Beeching. Now, ours Beeching, is ours is spelled B E A C H A M. Right, and his is B W -E, e C H A M. Right, but he still comes under our family by way of uh, my late brother Graham. Uh, he was a Heathcote, Graham William Heathcote Beecham. But the Heathcote is on the Beeching side right. from Richard Beeching, who, of course, was the founder of the railway, or destroyed the railways, as you'd say. Mm. And also Sir Thomas Beecham, the great composer of music, that's where I get my love of music yeah. from, was from our, 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 um, our side of the family <laughs> as well. You could talk here for hours, but let's, I'm going to wrap it up. <laughs> exactly. Got, let's try and keep on this one thing. People should write to you, get the email, and we'll put it on, as I said, and yeah. see if we can get a letter campaign, a, a, an email, a, of course, a, one obviously. of those online things going. Exactly, yes, uh, uh, yes, Paul. I'd love to get something okay. uh, to, to do with that. and uh, Because uh, I'm not going to sit by and watch um, uh, the island's heritage the uh, Mattel uh, actually said, and I quote what Mattel said, the island is for playboys only. Oh, <laughs> yes, it's a playboy island. And also they, they said, and I quote, it's a place where people can I hide their ill-gotten okay, gains. Okay, enough, because they're big. No, I and that's in writing, is it? You've seen that. I've seen that in. I've Who seen takes responsibility for those words? I will <laughs> indeed. Yes, but that's that's what they. they okay, do. we'll leave it there. But thank you very much. And yeah, luck, that's yeah. okay. Thank you very much, Paul. And uh, let's hope we can get this uh, get this going. And we're going to put on a display. Oh yes, uh, we're doing that, yes. Yes, uh, just to mention that, uh, of course, yeah. the island will be celebrating uh, Tinwood Day uh, on the fifth of July. Uh, and also with the Reverend um, celebrating 76 years of Thomas the Tank Engine because he's buried in the church at Lazare, just on the outskirts of Ramsey. Uh, his grave is, is marked uh, in What's happening in St John's? Keep you on track here, come on. What do you do? Yes, What's happening in St John's? On, 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 uh, uh, St John's, we're doing the, um, uh, we're putting on a railway display in the, in the hall. So come in, we're going to start a petition, uh, get people to sign it if they want to, save our, save our Thomas and save our heritage on the Isle of Man for all, for all generations and future generations to come.